Hello beautiful soul and welcome to Yoga with Kancha. My name is Kancha Joy, your intuitive empowerment yogi coach. And today we have an important topic to get into. And I want to know if you feel like you are living your whole life, your fullest life, your most loving, self-trusting, self-confident version. If not, this is the perfect video for you today because this video we are going to dive deep into expressing yourself, living in your purpose. Right now we're at a crucial time. I mean, we are at a pivotal moment in our lives where we are realizing that, you know what? These jobs that we have, J-O-B, just over broke, they're not cutting it, right? We want to live our passion. We want to live our purpose. We want to live in our desire, something that gives us so much joy, so much passion, okay? And today I want to get into this. I want to get that energy revved up so that you feel really ready to start living your mission and your life purpose. We're going to get inspired so that you feel empowered enough to go forth, move forward in confidence in the direction of your dreams. All right, so close your eyes and let's take a moment to pause and breathe. Right? Let yourself know, I have arrived, I am here. Let's take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Good. Deep inhale and a long breath out. Good. Now chances are that if you're joining me today that you kind of know what it is that you're passionate about. Maybe you have an inkling, maybe you have an understanding deeper. And, you know, there's a reason why you haven't gone forth and took, taken any action, right? There's a reason why, right? Maybe it was out of nervousness, fear, self-judgment, others are going to judge you. And no matter what the reason is, it is okay. Okay, we are, we are going to just blast through that today. So as we're sitting, let's take a moment to tap it out. We're going to start with some tapping. All right, we're going to tap on these meridian lines, which is going to help us just release any of those blockages, any of those mental blocks that are stopping you from really moving forward and being this full version that, you, that I know that you are, that you know that you are. Okay? So... <laughs> So let's begin by just tapping in the back of the hand, right? And give yourself some, you know, pat on the back, some good energy for just being here right now, right? Because right now we're in an uncertain time. We're in uncertain times. We're not really sure like, okay, how am I going to navigate this? You know, what am I going to do? Right? And, and maybe there's a little bit of nervousness, fear, worry, doubt. It's okay taking full responsibility for your emotions. Let's take a deep breath in. Open the mouth and exhale. Good. We're going to start tapping at the top of the head. Okay. And you can use either hand. It's all good. Good. And as you're tapping in the top of your head, just let yourself know that, you know what? I am here to explore what my possibilities are in this moment. That's it. Maybe I'm here to explore or to question what maybe I have never questioned. Maybe I'm here to understand something that I've never really thought about understanding deeper. Maybe I was worried about understanding deeper because I was just feeling a little bit of fear and that is okay. That is okay. Between the brows, right? you could do both hands or one. Good. And no matter where I am today and now, I'm going to love, honor, and respect right where I am. It's all good. It is okay. Anybody that has been in the situation that I've been in, that had the experience that I've had, would feel the exact same way that I feel right now. 
Let's take it under the eyes. Good, let's take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Good, no matter what has been stopping me or is stopping me from moving forward in my purpose, moving forward and maybe even exploring my mission or allowing myself to go there, anything that's standing in the way, I release that, clear and transmute across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Good. I'm accepting myself for right where I am, right here, right now. Good. I'm allowing myself to feel whatever's coming up, whatever's coming up for you. It's all good. All right, tapping on the chest, right at the collarbone. Maybe a few fingers on the collarbone, a few fingers below the collarbone. Okay, good. Whatever I'm experiencing right now, whatever energy you're experiencing, let that be okay. Self-validate. That is okay. It's going to be a little nervous. You're going to feel a little bit off your path. You're going to feel a little uncertain. You're going to feel a little wobbly. You're going to suck at it for a little while, right? Especially getting into something new. But you know what? This is the time to really allow yourself to be bad at something that you're just starting out in, right? Let's take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Good, good. Underneath the arm. Good. I'm allowing myself to go there today. I'm allowing myself to go there energetically, emotionally. Maybe these are things that maybe you have never even thought about. Like, yeah, I've always wanted to start my own business, but you know, what am I going to do? Maybe it's overwhelming. Maybe it's nerve wracking. Maybe it's scary. All of these emotions are totally valid. All right, let's take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Good. We're going to release it. Going to roll out the shoulders. Good. And roll out the neck any way that feels good. All right, take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Good. I'm going to begin to move a little bit. So I'm going to take these off the mat so we can really get into our physical asana, right? Our physical asana is the one that removes our obstacles, right? That helps release resistance. And that's what we want to do today. We don't want to take big action. We don't want to say, oh, I'm going to whatever it is, unless you're ready, right? We want to tune in energetically, preparing the way, right? Releasing the resistance so that we can get the inspired idea. So let's roll out the neck one more round here. Let's take a deep inhale and a long exhale. I'm not sure if you can hear that quail behind it, but I just love the sound of those quails. They're like just such beautiful sounding chirping birds. All right, good, good. And so today let's begin by, we're gonna sit along our mat. We're gonna extend the left leg down the mat. Take your right knee and just bend it in. And we're just going to fold over that left leg. All right. And what we're doing here is we're getting into the hamstring, which is igniting a fire, right? Igniting a fire within us. Hamstring is a fire energy and the hips are emotions, right? So we want to ignite those emotions and release that hip energy. All right, good. Let's switch the legs. Take the left leg in, right leg extends. Good, let's take a deep breath into the low back and into the pelvis. Two breaths like this, all right, you got it. Good, two more breaths. Good, 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 good. And then let's come back up and we're gonna meet in downward facing dog. All right, let's tuck the toes, extend the legs. We're gonna pedal out the feet, bend one knee at a time. Good. And then let's step the right foot forward into a lunge. And we're just going to kind of bounce up and down on the hips, kind of stretching it out, getting into that root chakra, that feeling of safety, that feeling of security. All right. So let's let those energy just juice up our, you know, our base, our root chakra. Okay, good. And then left hand down, right hand reaches up to twist here. Good. Take a few breaths here. Nothing crazy. Yes. Good. One more breath in. 
right? This is really the energetics of yoga, the bioenergetics of yoga, right? We want to tune into our body's energy. Good, right hand down, drop the back knee. Let's take a little half split here, extend the front leg. Good, good, good. And let's keep saying the mantra that, you know what, wherever I am, I'm accepting that. I'm accepting right where I am. I'm allowing myself to be okay right where I am. Good. Let's go ahead and bend the front knee. Let's step it back, downward facing dog. All right, pedal the feet. You can shake out the head, letting any of that tension go. And then let's step the left foot forward into that runner's lunge stance. Oh yeah, you got it. Yes, let's rock it forward and backward. Maybe bounce up and down on the hips. Just really allow yourself to go there, right? Getting that deeper stretch, that nice revived energy. All right, good. One more breath in. Good. Right hand down, left hand opens up to twist it out. Good, yogis. Take a few breaths here. Right, and here in our solar plexus, we're wringing out any of that tight energy that, that you know, is no longer resonant, right? That maybe, oh, I'm feeling unworthy. I'm feeling nervous about this. I'm feeling, you know, like dis I need to distract myself from this, right? That That's a lot of what I had to go through when I was just starting my yoga as well, right? Let's take the left hand down and then let's take that little half split, extend. All right, now I'll tell you that, even for me, even for me, right? Um, what I would do, yogis, is I would go and make tortillas. That was my specialty. I was like, you know what? Um, I wanna make tortillas. I had all this stuff to do. I had yoga to think about. I had, you know, my business plan and just wanting to get in the energy of creating this business but what I was doing was distracting myself with food, with tortillas, with, you know, cooking these extravagant meals when I wasn't even hungry. So if you feel like you're distracting yourself, know that, hey, you know what? That is okay. That is okay. It might take some time, but, you know, next time you notice you're distracting yourself, say, oh, I'm distracting myself. Let me, let me see what I can do about this. Let me shift the focus, right? That's the most challenging thing because when we're distracting ourselves, we have all this energy going towards the distraction. Am I right? All right, let's find our downward facing dog. Step it back. Good. And let's go ahead and walk the hands to the back of the mat and just fold here. Fold it out. Good. And we're going to take our yoga squat, okay? We're going to sit the hips between the heels. And this is a really great pose because energetically, this is all about release, right? Surrender. Can we surrender into this moment, right? Where, right where we are, right? It's okay that we're all starting out on a different space in our journey, right? I'll tell you what. I grew up just with little resources, no resources at all. And it's been a journey. It's been a, ch it's been a journey, babe. It's been a journey because, you know, to find what you want to pursue in your passion, to have the courage to take that step and actually go for it, to, you know, change the patterns that you've created as coping mechanisms or as you know ways of doing things to shift that focus is really big challenge and I'll tell you what like just on a side note a lot of the weight that I have lost is due to releasing a lot of these patternings like the food distraction right eating when I'm not hungry that was just one of them but you know there's a lot of ways that we distract ourselves okay so anyways Let's go ahead and take one more breath, deep inhale. Good. Let's walk the hands into tabletop and take a few rounds of our cat cow here. Right, feel the energy flowing up and down the spine. 
and allow yourself to really feel that flow of energy, your energy, your signature energy, right? Right now, it's really just about that, hey, you know what? I am taking time to tune into, you know, what are my needs around starting this? Right? How do I want to move forward? What would feel good here? What would feel the best to, what action steps would feel good? And we think about that and then we all of a sudden will get inspired to take that, that extravagant, beautiful action, right? So good, good. Let's go ahead and we're going to lie down on the spine. All right, and feel free to lie back. You can take a little happy baby which will help get into those hips a little bit deeper. And when you're ready, feel free to just extend your legs down the mat and just find a nice, just lying down position, right? Shavasana style. All right, we're just getting into our energy and our, and our pre-paving, right? Pre-paving this. So while you're lying down, yogis, let's take a deep breath in, deep inhale, long exhale. Good. Know that, you know what, that inspired action is going to come. Whether that inspired action comes in an hour, whether that inspired action comes in a day or a week, or you're preparing for that emotional shift, that energetic shifting that takes place. Right now, what we can do is say, I'm ready to speak. I'm ready to hone in on my skills in a way that I never have been before. I am ready to take inspired action. I'm ready for myself to grow into a beautiful business person. I'm ready to get the confidence to really go forth and pursue what I need to pursue. Right? One of the biggest stories that really inspired me was when I was working in the corporate world. And one of the IT guys, I was saying, you know, cause I was like, I was like, oh, I really want to work on a farm. You know, I was just, I wanted to work on a farm. I was just ready to do it. And I was asking him, you know, if you weren't working IT, what would you be doing? You know, what would your passion be? And he was like, I love plant medicine. And I was like, wow, that is amazing. Like he wanted to go study in the rainforest and, you know, be this expert on medicinal herbs and learn all these natural remedies and, beautiful things that we could really use in this world really beautiful things and here he was doing it and i was like why don't you just go do it you know i didn't understand and he was like i have two kids and i have to pay the bills and that's a reality right that is a reality that is true that we're we sometimes are you know not given different opportunities, but right now what we can do is get into this emotional energy. And before I was teaching yoga, before I was doing sound healing, I had a vision board and I wrote on the vision board, I don't know what it is that I want to do, but I want it to feel like this. And I wrote all these things. I want to feel fulfilled. I want to feel passion. I want to feel respected. I want to feel like people need me, you know, and all of this other stuff. So let's take a moment to think of what it is that would really ring your bells. What is it that you really want to experience in your career? Maybe you really want to work outside in the sunshine. Maybe you really just want to be happy. Maybe that doesn't take a huge shift. Maybe that's a small shift. Maybe that is just a, a step. Maybe we can take a step in the right direction. Right? 
but this is how I want to feel. Think of two or three or four words that would describe what it is that you desire. Hold it right here for three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Pause the breath, three, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one. Pause, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Pause, three, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one, pause, three, two, one, exhale, three, two, one, pause, three, two, one, deep inhale, filling the breath all the way to the top, and let's pause it right here for six, five, feel the myofascial around the heart loosening up, four, three, Exhale all the breath out. Just let it go. Good. I am ready to step deeper into my passion, my calling. Even if it's just something I'm doing for fun. Even if it's something I'm just doing part-time. Right? Even I had a part-time job while I was getting on my feet for yoga. So remember, nothing is impossible. You can do it. Let's begin to wiggle the toes and the fingers and just reach your arms up. Take a full body stretch. You can interlace the fingers and flip the palms above you. Good. Bend your knees into the body and roll to your favorite side. The most important thing you can do right now is allow yourself to dream. Allow yourself to dream about it. Right? Imagination is not some silly concept. No. We are visualizing what it is we desire and how we want to feel in our world. It's not something silly to fantasize and to imagine. I promise. Come up to seated right when you're ready, yogi. Extracting out all of that fear through the bowls, allowing for expression, heart space, heart centeredness, and third eye vision. Know that you are on the right track just by being here, just by listening to this video. You are on the right path, you are on the right track. Know that you are doing amazing work and that everything is possible. And maybe let's say it together that everything is always working out for me. Everything. Everything is always working out for me. When I find something I don't want, I get more clarity on what I do want. Everything is working for my benefit. Everything. It's all working for my benefit. Good. Let's bring the palms together right at the center of the chest. And let's take one deep breath in. Beautiful work, yogis. Thank you for being here. My name is Kancha. Namaste.